Hello, Patrick. Melissa told me you were looking for me. What happened, my friend? Certainly. I was looking for you, Mike. Is it true you will become a father? What? Where did that come from? Although that might be true, nobody knew it. Evidently, this is not a secret. I heard that from a person. I can't tell you who that is, sorry. Anyway, please do not tell that to anybody in this office. I don't want them to know, is that okay? Don't worry, my friend. I won't tell anyone, because I don't like to gossip, you know? Thank you, Patrick. Even though I believe in you, I know there is a gossiper in this office. What? What are you talking about? Who is that gossiper you mentioned? As much as I would like to tell you, I can't because I don't really know who that person is. I just heard there was a person who liked gossiping in this office. Just be careful. Oh, sure. I will be very careful. And don't worry, I won't tell your secret to anyone. Thank you, my friend. Also, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Could you please lend me your... Sorry I interrupt you, but I need to go now. Although, I'd like to help you, I can't. I have a lot of work, and I'm late for a meeting. Have a great day. I'll see you around. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Have a good day, and thank you again. Hey, morning, George. Have you heard the good news, my friend? You won't believe it. Patrick, hello. Even though I hear a lot of things in this office, I don't know what you're talking about. How is it possible? Everyone knows, or that's what I've heard. It's about Mike. About Mike? No, I haven't heard anything, but tell me, what happened? He will have a baby, so he will be a father. His wife is five months pregnant. Seriously? Wow! Who would have thought it? Despite his very shy. I know. Although he seems to be a shy person, he's not as you can see. Yeah, well, on the other hand, if he told you that, then we need to congratulate him. Oh, no, no, don't do that, please. As far as I know, he doesn't want it. What do you mean he doesn't want it? You mean the baby? He doesn't want to have his baby? No, no, or maybe you're right. I think he doesn't want to have that baby. Then that's why it's better not to tell him anything. I think he and his wife have some problems. Oh, that's terrible. Nevertheless, I think we should help him, support him, you know? Yeah, sure, but for now, let's keep it a secret, okay? That's much better. Sure, I understand. Believe it or not, I had some problems with my wife too. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't know you were having marriage problems, George. 
No, I don't have marriage problems. I just argued with my wife a couple of times, and that's it. Thus, I was a little depressed, but happily everything went well, and we're fine now. Interesting. I didn't know anything about that, so I, I couldn't help you, sorry. Oh, I didn't tell anybody about this, because you know, there is a gossiper in this office. I've heard something about that. For this reason, you didn't want to say anything then. Yeah, I don't want people to know my personal problems, so please do not tell anyone. I don't talk too much, therefore I won't tell anyone about that, don't worry. Thank you Patrick, I know I can trust you, now we have to keep working. Sure, but first I need to go to the cafeteria, I'll see you later ok? Take care my friend. Ok. Oh, that Patrick. He's a good friend. Let's get back to work. Sebastian, how's it going, my friend? Did you hear the bad news? Hello, Patrick. Bad news? No. What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, but... George is not. Perhaps he's getting divorced this week. What are you saying? He's my friend. And he didn't tell me anything about that. Then you should ask him why he didn't tell you anything. Because he's just told me that. Moreover... I think he didn't want to tell you anything not to worry you. Or maybe not. I don't believe you. Although I know he was having some problems, he won't get divorced. Well, he isn't just getting divorced. I think his wife cheated on him with his neighbor. What are you talking about? I talked to him this morning, and he didn't tell me anything about that. In spite of you don't believe me, that's what I heard. So you can ask him if you want. But please, don't tell him I told you this. Because you know, if he didn't tell you anything... Maybe he doesn't want you to know. So, just ask him how he is and that's it, okay? Yeah, sure. Don't worry. I'll ask him. Just keep working. Goodbye. Great. Um, take care, Sebastian. Have a great day, my friend. Sebastian, my friend, how are you today? Why don't we go for some drinks after work today? Yeah, sure, but first, I need to ask you something. How's that thing you're getting divorced? What? What is that you're saying? Am I getting divorced? <laughs> That's what I thought. Even if you have problems with your wife, I perfectly know that you will never get divorced. I mean, you love your wife, and I know that perfectly. Yeah, of course. But why do you say that? Where did that stupid thing come from? It's Patrick. I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of that. He's the gossiper. 
Why do you say that? Did he tell you that thing about me getting divorced? Yeah, but not only that. He said lies about Mike, Melissa, and also me the last month. Wow, I never thought he would be the gossiper. That bastard. Yeah, I know, but we need to do something, and I already have a plan. Don't worry. This is what we're going to do. We will face him, the three of us, and he will feel the pressure. That's a good idea. Let's do it. I will call Mike, and we'll go right now. I think he's in his office, so we can go there now. He won't know what to do, that idiot. So, you are the gossiper, huh? Now I want you to say all those lies here. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.